An investigation by Sky News suggests data protection rules are being ignored by some parties. Freedom of information requests to the Information Commissioner suggest Labour is the worst offender. Political campaigns used to be like this. New Labour will give new life to Britain. Now, they're like this. And to do that well, you need data. But what data? And on who? That's what digital rights campaigner Pascal Crow wanted to know. So he put in subject access requests, effectively legal demands for data. Eventually, we got back responses from all nine parties that we sent subject access requests to. Of those nine parties, four held interesting personal information on us. Uh, unfortunately, Labour came back to us and said that they wouldn't be able to fulfil their basic requirements under the law. Pascal wasn't the only one as he found when he asked the Information Commissioner's Office for its record of complaints against political parties. And what we found was that Labour are by far and away the worst offender. Out of 110 complaints about the political parties, Labour account for 64 of those complaints, and 46 of the complaints about Labour are about their handling of subject access requests. These were just complaints, not proof of wrongdoing. But the next most complained about parties... UKIP and the Conservatives only had 12 each. Data protection experts say that's a bad sign. It's very worrying when any organisation doesn't fulfil subject access requests. Uh, from the individual's point of view, um, they don't get to see their information, how it's being used, so that hampers their ability to exercise other rights uh, and defend their freedom, uh, which might be something really significant for that individual. Um, it's also worrying from an organisational point of view because uh, it kind of indicates that there's something going very wrong uh, in their processes or perhaps their information architecture, uh, which, which could indicate very serious problems to come down the line. Labour told us it was working hard to process outstanding requests and that it had agreed a plan with the ICO to do so quickly. Data might seem abstract and niche and nerdy, but it's everything in politics right now. It really is no exaggeration to say that what data scientists do in there will define the next election by using your data to define you. Pascal still hasn't found out what data Labour holds on him. But if it's anything like the other parties, it could be very personal. The ICO told us its inquiries into the Labour Party were ongoing. This latest tale of politics and data clearly has more to run. Roland Manthorpe, Sky News.